man has turned to the sea and to the life above and below it for adventure. Not content with surface thrills, man also invades the depths equipped with a diving hat, weight boots, dive suit, endless courage and curiosity as he moves into this airless fluid world. Join us as we explore the depths on this episode of Diving Into the Past. Hello, I'm Leslie Leaney. In the previous video, we saw one of the helium recirculators that Bob Kirby built for associated divers. This was one of the six he built, but unfortunately, these could not save associated divers from going out of business. However, Kirby now struck out on his own and started building helium recirculators for his own clients. Kirby built at least two more on Desco Brown commercial shells, both of which have been located. He also built some on Yokohama J shells. He added his own long oval brass plaque with a diamond outline in it, which stated, R. Kirby, Commercial Helmet, Santa Barbara, California. Kirby also hired Hummel Products for Santa Barbara to create a bonnet shell of his own specifications. This bonnet had a very distinctive shape, which has been described as an inverted garlic clove. In 1965, Kirby made four recirculators that were custom ordered by Murray Black at DiveCon. These are a unique design with two lugs on the front of the bonnet neck ring. They were to be used for diving out of a bell and would be rigged with a US Navy Mark V helium gas control valve and whip. Two of these four helmets have been located. After the construction of these recirculators for DiveCon, Bev Morgan joined Kirby and they built four recirculators on Yokohama shells. These are distinctive for having two eyes attached to the front of the breastplate neck ring. This helmet is one of them. These helmets had R. Kirby plaques on them as the Kirby Morgan partnership had not been formed. But as an historical note, this helmet is one of the first four helmets actually built by Kirby and Morgan. The two lashing eyes below the breastplate neck ring make it very distinctive. More details on this helmet and Bob Kirby and Helium Recirculator helmets can be found in Historical Diver Magazine, issue 20. And also Bob's autobiography, Hard Hat Divers Wear Dresses. Both are available from the HDS USA at www.hds.org. Bob's DVD on building and restoring copper helmets is also available from the HDS USA. A fuller accounting of how these helium recirculators revolutionized commercial diving can be found in Chris Swan's book, The History of Oilfield Diving and Industrial Adventure.